Wonderful. All right, did you know, according to One Tree Planted, an organization dedicated to replanting forests one tree at a time, every two seconds, man destroys an area of forest the size of a football field. 80% of forests are already destroyed. 25% of all greenhouse gas emissions are a result of deforestation and 300 billion tons of carbon are stored in Earth's forests, which means when we destroy our forests, the capture carbon is released in the atmosphere as CO2. As many of us are well aware, too much CO2 in the atmosphere causes a greenhouse effect, which in turn spikes colossal change in our climate. Now, unfortunately, many of our leaders do not believe in the science behind global warming. So with the responsibility, with that, so the responsibility to combat this problem lies with us and our good friend trees. Just like we learned in third grade science, trees help clean the air we breathe, filter the water we drink, and provide habitat to 80, over 80% 80 of the world's terrestrial biodiversity. One of the many reasons we all enjoy hiking is because of trees. So, small actions lead to big changes, and I believe active, actively planting more trees will help combat the rising CO2 emissions to climate change, contributing to climate change. All right. According to a special report on global warming of one and a half degrees Celsius from October of last year, the Intergovernmental pan plan blah, 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 Panel on Climate Change has revealed humanity, humanity has little over a decade to dramatically reduce greenhouse gas emissions before the climate serious, starts to seriously go crazy. We're already seeing the devastating consequences of the current one degree Celsius global temperature increase, including rising sea levels in many coastal cities, extreme storms, prolonged droughts, and intensified wildflowers. Wildfires, not flowers, either way. <laughs> Humans accumulate 9 billion tons of carbon emission every year. 25% of that is attributed to deforestation. Deforestation comes in many forms, including fires, clear cutting for agriculture, ranching and development, unsustainable logging for timber and degradation due to climate change. The WWF or Wild, World Wildlife Fund states that a third of the world's arable land or land suitable to be plowed and used for crops has been lost to defor deforestation since 1960. That's a third of the land incapable of producing food lost within the last 50 years alone. Luckily, we have a solution. <laughs> Plant some trees, guys. <laughs> Did you know one tree can sequester 48 pounds of CO2 emission? Not to mention one mature canopy tree absorbs enough carbon and releases enough oxygen to sustain two humans. Can you imagine what a whole forest could sequester? According to the Small Footprint Family, a nonprofit organization dedicated to sustainable living, the carbon storage capacity of a forest is approximately three times as large as the pool of carbon in the atmosphere. Here's a fun story. J. Dov Paying, known as the Forest Man of India, actually spent 30 years of his life dedicated to planting one tree a day to save his island. The Majula Island, the largest river island in the world, has been shrinking for the last 70 years and has been under continuous threat of soil erosion since the 1980s. To fight this problem, J. Dov Paying, by himself, started planting bamboo and other species along his island sandbar. It took 30 years to plant what is now comparable to the size of 15 football fields, or roughly 1,400 acres. Thanks to Jadav, the Mola forest now houses Bengal tigers, Indian rhinoceroses, reptiles, over 100 deer, rabbits, monkeys, and several new varieties of birds. Now I'm not asking you to plant a whole forest, but imagine what could happen even if all of us planted one tree. We would have cleaner and breathable air. In urban areas, trees absorb pollutant gases like nitrogen oxides, ozone, and carbon monoxide. Trees absorb water. It would reduce the risk of natural disasters and waterside erosion. According to the Food and Agriculture Association of the United Nations, a mature evergreen can intercept more than 15,000 liters of water every year. Our biodiversity would increase. Without trees, forest creatures don't have nowhere to call home. All right, hold on. Second page. And Wonderful. Our social impact. We don't just rely on trees for work. Sustainable tree farming provides timber to build homes and shelters, wood to burn for cooking and heating, and food producing trees provide fruit, nuts, berries, and leaves for consumption. Did you know that hospital patients with rooms overlooking trees recover faster than those with the same view? Trees help reduce stress, anxiety, and allow us to reconnect with nature. Unfortunately, we don't start rebuilding a forest right now. The impacts resulting will make our world climb higher to a two per or a 
two degrees Celsius level, which is almost unimaginable for the effects. The Global Warming Report explains that we'll experience death, death of the coral reefs in every ocean, the collapse of nearly one quarter of the world's agricultural land, dramatically increased heat waves and wildflowers, 100 million people driven to extreme poverty, sparking multiple refugee crises, one meter of sea level rise in coastal re regions, and more than 11 trillion per year in damages from extreme storms and flooding. So, how can you help, guys? Lucky for you, I have a fun little handout. One for you, you can pass it around. Part of the speech. You guys want to look at it? There's one for you, one for you and Pam. So pretty much it has organizations dedicated to planting trees. There's ones that are abroad where you can, the top ones abroad usually require you to donate. The first one I like, because all you have to do is donate a dollar, you plant a tree, you, you know, you've made your cause. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, local programs um, here in Roanoke, you can, in, on Veterans Day, plant a tree, become a volunteer. Or if you're, you know, I've really convinced you in my persuasive speech here, <laughs> you can uh, become a tree steward, which they teach you how to plant trees, um, and they help you teach other people to do that, which I think is really cool as well. Also, my girlfriend really loves trees, so, you know, try to persuade her. <laughs> all right, so, all right. Like I said before, small actions lead to big changes. Our role and its leaders have not yet found an end-all solution to the growing climate crisis. The responsibility lies in our hands, your hands, your neighbors, and our family. Today, I provide you with a simple solution. Go plant a tree. One small tree for man is one giant leap for man's future. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you guys. <laughs>